Namaste. Welcome you all for the yoga session. In this session, we are going to use a chair, a mat and a blanket. We shall focus on one of the standing postures, Veerabhadrasana 2. In conjunction with some of the postures that would help the lumbar, pelvic and hip complex, so that the practice of Veerabhadrasana 2 becomes more effective and more penetrative. We shall begin with some simple postures for the core muscles. Lay on your back, resting the legs on the seat of the chair. Keep an appropriate blanket below the neck. Ensure that the complete spinal muscles are properly rested on the mat. Keep both the palm on the abdominal cavity. As we inhale, the abdominal cavity should expand. As we exhale, it should contract. When you exhale, contract the abdominal muscles little more than normal and specially sensitize even the posterior region, that is the region of the lower back and the fascia, the thoracolumbar fascia at the back that should also respond to the breathing. Be watchful. Good breathing is very essential in all the postures. This breathing should be maintained in all other movements that you are going to practice. A good abdominal breathing also helps the mind to relax. Now relax both the arms, keep them by the side of the trunk, palm facing down as you inhale, rise both arms up. Over the head, then as you exhale, bring it back. Match the action of the breathing, feel the weight of the arms as you move them up and down. Inhale up, at the end of the inhalation, it should have reached. the ground again over the head then as you exhale bring it back taking the palm to the sides of the trunk <coughs> and at the end of the exhalation the palm should land on the mat match your breathing and the action this is good for the scapular region, the shoulder joint and the arms. A good way to also improve the depth of inhalation and exhalation. Also feel the position of the arms. Especially when you have closed the eyes, you must feel from within the position of the arms as they move up and down that is our ability of proprioception improves if we are able to move them as synchronously as possible. As you inhale you must lift the arms 
and also ensure that as you inhale the abdominal cavity expands then as you exhale contract the abdominal muscles and also move the arms watch the shoulder joints watch the scapular region watch the chest chin towards the chest feel your arms feel the weight of the arms as you move them up and down Now relax the arms. You can fold the elbows, resting the palms on the abdomen and chest. Raise your right leg up. Stretch the heel. Pull the kneecap. Tighten the quadriceps, the top of the thigh. Pull the knee cap. Feel the hamstrings, back of the right thigh. This is a good stretch. Simple but very effective stretch for the back of the thigh, the hamstring muscles. You have to stretch the toes towards the knee. Stretch the calf muscle. Now flex the knee. Keep the right leg down. Chain, left leg up. Pull the kneecap, stretch the heel, tighten the top of the thigh, the quadriceps. Keep on pulling the kneecap. left leg down one more time right leg up pull the knee cap stretch the heel keep the right leg absolutely straight toes towards the knee that will help the achilles tendon to stretch which will reinforce the stretch of the calf muscle and this in turn intensifies the stretch of the hamstrings right leg down chain left leg the tone of the hamstring muscles is very important even for the back to be healthy so this movement also helps the hips and the lower back and all this breathing is very very attentively be done left leg down Relax your breathing, watch your back, rise your right leg up, fold, hold the knee, press the knee closer to the chest. Stretch the toes towards the knee. And activate the right hamstring muscles. Press them against the calf muscle by tightening the hamstrings so that you can feel the knee capsule. And draw the knee in line and closer to the chest. Release right leg, chain, left leg, left leg up, fold, hold the knee, press the knee closer to the chest. Activate the left hamstring muscles so that you can feel the knee capsule. and breathe properly as you inhale the abdominal cavity expands as you exhale it contracts
this is a good movement for the gluteal minimus and medius and also helps the lower back muscles release left leg one more time right leg up fold hold the knee press the knee closer to the chest from the hands you should pull it closer to the chest but ensure that the hip knee and ankle they are all in the same plane release the right leg chain left leg left leg up fold hold the knee pull the knee closer to the chest breathe properly make the exhalation little slower than the inhalation make the exhalation more profound by contracting the abdominal muscles little more than normal release uh, left leg right leg up fold from left hand hold the ankle joint pull it closer to the root of the left thigh and push the right knee take the heel as close to the root of the left thigh as possible and watch your breathing as we inhale try to feel the base of the spine and as you exhale contract the abdominal region release right leg chain left leg left leg up fold from right hand hold the ankle joint pull the heel closer to the root of the right thigh from left hand push the left knee towards the chair this is a good uh, movement for the base of the spine especially the sacroiliac joint that is the joint where the hip and the spinal column meet even in this tighten the hamstring muscles back of the thigh so that you can feel the knee capsule release left leg one more time right leg up fold from left hand hold the ankle joint pull it as close to the root of the thigh as possible then push the right knee so these uh, simple movements give a good tone for the core muscles especially in the lumbar pelvis and hip complex so these are some very safe starters for any other movements to follow release right leg chain left leg left leg up fold from right hand hold the ankle joint pull the heel closer to the root of the right thigh and push the left knee towards the chest breathe consciously breathing is the key for the success of any posture 
get connected with the breath get connected with the posture release left leg what the complete paraspinal muscles right leg up fold from left hand hold the ankle joint pull from right hand push the knee across the chest you have to pull powerfully and then push across the chest feel the stretch in the gluteal region especially the gluteal maximus muscle gets a good stretch in this posture breathe well be aware of your breath release right leg chain left leg up fold from right hand hold the ankle joint pull from left hand push the knee across the chest the gluteal maximus muscle is one of the major muscles of our body so this posture gives a good and intense stretch for the gluteal maximus muscles you have to push the knee across the chest so that you get a more penetrating stretch release left leg one more time right leg up fold from left hand hold the ankle joint pull from right hand push the knee across the chest feel the complete hip musculature feel the muscles of the lower back to feel the muscles of the lower back or the posterior surface you should use your breathing to sensitize that region release right leg left leg left leg up fold from right hand hold the ankle joint pull from left hand push the knee across the chest so this posture is also one of the very important postures for the health of the back release left leg just watch the posterior surface in the region of the lower back right leg fold resting the heel on the left knee then from left hand pull the left thigh and from right hand push the right knee and you have to stretch the heel both the heels toes towards the knee feel the root of the or base of the right hip deep inside you should get a good stretch i must pull the left thigh now release the left thigh then rest the right leg also on the chair fold your left leg resting the left ankle right on the knee from right hand pull the right thigh from left hand push the left knee you have to pull the thigh so that the heel is almost at the edge of the seat of the chair and tighten the hamstrings breathe well feel the stretch deep inside the left hip release right leg rest the left leg also on the chair one more time fold right leg resting the heel on the left knee from left hand pull the 
left thigh from right hand push the knee breathe well so this is a good stretch for the so called piriformis muscle which is located deep in the hip and the sciatica nerve passes adjacent to this therefore this stretch is also very useful or release the legs rest the legs on top of the chair chain fold left leg left ankle on right knee from right hand hold the right thigh pull from left hand push the left knee keep both heels active toes towards the knee and breathe well feel the complete region of the hip release right leg then rest the left leg also on the seat of the chair now rise both legs up fold hold the knee press the knee closer to the chest stretch the heel toes towards the knee knee as close to the chest as possible breathe well here the abdominal cavity during inhalation feels a better massaging effect because of the pressure of the thigh and because of the same reason the thoracolumbar fascia the thick skin at the back that responds better to the breathing just watch that region as in the exhale also here tighten the back of the thigh both legs so that you can feel the knee capsule the outer covering of the knee also gets an enhanced stretch or release the legs rest them on the chair breathing relaxed so this Uh, in some sense is a series of postures that would help the core muscles in a gentle way and they prepare these core muscles for further action slowly get up from the right side sit on your heel and sit upright sit upright on your heel in ujjrasana keep a blanket below the knee chest and navel up watch your breathing we are going to do the following hold the chair take your right leg forward right knee bent at 90 degrees chest and navel up and then gently flex the right knee as much as possible press the right foot hold the chair so that you get a good orientation for the trunk the pelvis should not turn so chair helps to get a good orientation watch the line and length of the left leg take care of the orientation of the left leg it should not sway sideways
in this posture the right hip is in flexion left hip is in extension this is a very good posture for the hip flexors one of the important movements which would help the practice of other postures slowly come up right leg back chain left leg forward press the left foot then gently flex the left knee as much as possible chest and navel up look forward watch your breathing watch the base of the spine is also good for the knee left knee is in flexion right knee is nearly neutral left foot is in dorsiflexion right foot is in plantar flexion as we inhale the abdominal cavity should expand as we exhale it should contract the differential movement at the hip uh, is very beneficial for the base of the spine slowly come up take your left leg back sit on your heel keep the complete spinal column well aligned sit up right on your heel keep a blanket below the knee keep a chair in front chest and navel up watch your breathing stand up keep the chair in front hold the top of the chair stand close to the chair spread both feet 4 to 4 and 1/2 feet apart chest and navel up right foot 90 degrees out left foot inside press the outer edge of the left foot roll the left thigh out and press the outer edge press the right foot evenly in the leg exhale keeping the left leg straight bend your right leg at 90 degrees activate the right hamstring and calf muscle press the right foot turn the head to the right side ensure that the pelvis is in balance and the trunk is facing forward that is the purpose of the chair it will give not only a support but it will also give a sense of orientation for virabhadrasana too watch your breathing as we inhale abdominal cavity should expand and as we exhale it should contract straighten the right leg slowly come up then chain right foot in left foot 90 degrees out in the leg exhale sit square bend your left leg at 90 degrees left hamstrings and calf muscle you should tighten look to your left side press the outer edge of the right foot increase the arch of the right foot do not allow the left hip to move back we should push it forward so that the pelvis 
and trunk are properly aligned. Straighten the left leg, slowly come up. Virabhadrasana 2 does help all the muscles of the lower extremities. And taking a good load on the knee helps the anti-gravity muscles like the glutes and the quadriceps. Sit on your heel in Vajrasana. Vajrasana helps uh, the lower extremities. It is also good for the spinal muscles. And kneel down. Right leg forward. Bend, hold the chair. Stretch the right foot to press against the lower rib of the chair. Keep the right knee flexed. Chest and navel up. Press the heel down and pull the heel towards you. And push the left knee. This uh, action activates the back of the right thigh, the hamstring muscles. Ensure in the beginning to keep the knee slightly flexed. Then gently straighten the right leg. Extend the knee completely, pull the kneecap, tighten the quadriceps, chest and navel up. So this will ensure a good stretch for the Achilles tendon, the calf muscle as well as the hamstring muscles, the back of the thigh. For that you have to raise the chest and navel up. So this is where the chair helps you further. It gives a good support. For you to push the right thigh down and lift the navel and trunk up. Slowly take right leg back. Chain. Left leg forward. Foot taken at the lower rib of the chair. Left knee slightly bent to begin with. Press the left heel and pull towards the right knee. So that the back of the thigh becomes active. Chest and navel up. Then gradually extend the left knee, pull the kneecap, stretch the heel, push the root of the left thigh down, lift the trunk and navel up. This is a very useful posture to tone the back of the thigh, the hamstring muscles. One of the very large muscles group that we have and it has a very high degree of participation in many postures. Slowly take the left leg back, sit upright on your heel. Ideally, heels should be together and uh, hips should sit on the heel. Watch your breathing. Stand up, keep a chair in front, stand closer to the chair, hold the top rib of the chair, spread both legs four to four and a half foot apart, right foot 90 degrees out, left foot inside, right foot should center the left foot, chest and navel up. Do not turn the pelvis, inhale, exhale, 
sit square bend your right leg at 90 degrees holding the chair should give you a support so that initially you can take some of the load that would come on the knee and the thigh with the help of the arms and also the chair provides a good uh, orientation for the pelvis and the trunk watch your breathing get involved with the posture straighten the right leg slowly come up then chair right foot in left foot 90 degrees out align the pelvis and trunk properly then keeping the right leg straight exhale bend your left leg at 90 degrees press the left foot evenly firmly activate the left calf muscle and the hamstrings chest and navel up look to your left side roll the right thigh out to press the outer edge pull the knee cap watch your breathing be present be pleasant slowly extend the left knee come up join the legs sit on your heel in vajrasana vajrasana helps the foot the ankle joint calf muscle knee and thigh So doing vajrasana with the standing postures is of great help stand up sit on the chair sit to your right side press the foot properly chest and navel up hold it over the chair in the leg z turn to your right side grip the chair and turn keep the shoulders even turn the neck also in the direction of the twist with every inhalation you should stretch the trunk with every exhalation you should twist the trunk and then watch your breathing as we inhale the abdominal cavity should expand and as we exhale it should contract do not hold the breath twisting postures uh, help relieving the stress in the lower back also helps the intestinal organs slowly come up change side sit to your left side sit up right hold the top of the chair in the leg exhale turn use the grip use your forearm and upper arm to induce a good stretch for the rotators of the trunk the oblique muscles of the abdominal region also stand to benefit from twisting and proper breathing ensures good massaging effect 
on the intestinal and pelvic mu- muscles and organs slowly come up sit up right stand up sit on your heel in a Vajrasana also ensures to a reasonable extent a good alignment for the spinal column Stand up in third asana stand behind the chair hold the top rib of the chair both legs 4 to 4 and 1/2 feet apart right foot 90 degrees out left foot inside right foot should center the left foot press the outer edge of the left foot pull the knee caps chest and navel up push the tailbone forward keeping the left leg straight in the leg z bend right leg at 90 degrees activate the right hamstring and calf muscle look to your right side as in the abdominal cavity should expand as exhale it should contract extend the right leg slowly come up chain right foot in left foot 90 degrees out left foot to center the right foot we should properly use the support of the chair keeping the right leg straight in the leg zeal bend left knee at 90 degrees feel the knee feel the front of the thigh or the top of the thigh feel the gluteal region look to your left side Vairavadrasana 2 is very good for the knees as well as all the muscles of the lower extremities extend the left knee slowly come up join the legs third asana sit in vajrasana join the knee join the heel sit on top of the heel sit up right especially the virabhadrasana 1 2 and 3 they greatly help to strengthen and stabilize the anti gravity muscles of the lower extremities
चेस्ट एंड नेवल आप लाइन वर चेस्ट कीपिंग द चेयर इन फ्रंट press the wrist on the edge of the seat press the palm on the seat of the chair both arms straight relax the neck stretch the toes back tighten the calf muscle this is a good uh, stretch for the shoulder joint and also the upper chest neck also stands to benefit be strong on both the arms tighten the muscles of the upper arm and forearm press the palm middle fingers pointing forward relax the neck and if possible rest the forehead on the mat flex both arms and relax press the palm slowly get up this is a very good uh, stretch for the arms the scapula as well as the upper chest sit up right in vajrasana watch your breathing stand up in tadasana having stretched the arms into action we will complete virabhadrasana 2 hold the chair spread both legs 4 to 4 and a foot apart chest and navel up initially use the chair to get proper orientation right leg 90 degrees out left foot inside chest and navel up keeping the left leg straight in the leg zel sit square bend right leg at 90 degrees orient the trunk and pelvis properly and then stretch both arms sideways then look at your right palm both arms parallel to the ground activate the muscles of the upper arm forearm stretch well right on the back of the right thigh and also the calf muscle do not allow the hips to move back out of the plane you should push them forward hold the pelvis in balance flex the arms hold the chair straighten the right leg come up chain right foot in left foot 90 degrees out keeping the right leg straight flex the left knee at 90 degrees activate the left calf muscle and left hamstring orient the trunk properly then stretch both arms turn the neck look at your left palm as you inhale the abdominal cavity should expand as you exhale it should contract
flex the arms hold the top of the chair straighten the left leg slowly come up join both the legs sit on top of the chair sit up right palm should face upwards tip of the thumb and index finger in contact sit up right chest and navel up eyes gently closed relax your tongue nose throat and the jaws palm should face upwards tip of the thumb and index finger in contact watch your breathing now you are going to do one of the simplest best safest most effective type of breathing the abdominal diaphragmic breathing in this as we inhale the bottom of the abdomen then the middle then the top should expand then as we exhale the abdominal region contracts as we inhale the bottom most portion of the abdomen it includes the pelvis and the middle of the abdomen then the top of the abdomen should smoothly gently all around expands and feel that expansion circumferential expansion then as you exhale the abdominal region contracts watch the movement of the diaphragm also as you inhale and exhale as you inhale the diaphragm contracts and flattens towards the abdominal cavity pushing the abdominal viscera down and that's how the abdominal pelvic cavity expands during exhalation the diaphragm flexes into the chest compressing the lungs air comes out the abdominal region also contracts feel the smooth movement of the breathing the nice massaging effect of breathing both as we inhale and exhale the effect of breathing on the abdominal organs as well as the lower chambers of the heart develop a feel for the movement of the diaphragm feel for the movement of the abdominal cavity watch the anterior posterior and the sides as we inhale and exhale Now you are going to do the following you have to contract the abdominal muscles with a gentle force and exhale quickly forcefully then relax the abdominal muscles the air automatically enters in that is forced exhalation automatic inhalation contract the abdominal muscles with a gentle force expel the breath forcefully quickly then relax the air automatically enters in
relax the moment you relax there will be a brief duration where you will experience suspension of breath where there is neither inhalation nor exhalation for a few seconds feel that deep sense of relaxation one more time we are going to do forced exhalation automatic inhalation contract the abdominal muscles with a gentle force expel the breath quickly forcefully relax the muscles the air automatically gets in relax the moment you relax feel that deep sense of relaxation where there is no demand from the brain for further inhalation exhalation for few seconds just feel that and in all these things ensure that you use very gentle force one more time we are going to do forced exhalation automatic inhalation contract the abdominal muscles with a gentle force expel the breath quickly forcefully relax the muscles the air automatically gets in
रिलैक्स feel that deep sense of relaxation do not control the breath just watch as it is happening especially watch the pelvis and the abdomen feel the region consciously watch feel that great sense of rejuvenation and relaxation in that region namaste